Hi everybody, this is me again for Let's Play Mega Man X. How's it? <clears throat> so, today, we're going to be fighting a sub-boss. Now, this sub-boss is probably the tough, uh, not necessarily the toughest sub-boss in terms of difficulty, but this is a relatively tough sub-boss because of how freaking long it's going to take to kill him. Now, yeah, that green guy. There is a reason we're uh, we're uh, we're getting ready to go up against him. And if you hit his claws, you're not going to deal any damage. Your um uh your shots are just going to deflect right off of him. There are actually a couple ways to beat him. Um, I'm doing one strategy. I'm doing the defensive strategy. Basically, it's going to take a while to fight, but I'm I'm really not going to uh, be taking any damage. The other way is let him jump. I uh, let him. Letting him uh, use uh, use that attack and then uh, uh, jumping over his claw and hitting him. I want him to jump. All right, good. <coughs> I, I I actually like this strategy. Yes, it'll take a while, but it, it's less likely I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, take any shots. Now you can lure him to uh, to a certain point, like right here. Ah, crack whore. No, that's not it. Yeah, there, there is a way to lure him to where he uh, uh, uses his claw, grabs onto the, a wall, and um, uh, uh, drags himself to the wall, at which point you can then hit him from behind. But really, it, what's the point in trying that, uh, trying that way? And this boss, they actually tell you if this guy's close to death. You see, uh, you see all the smoke coming out of him? The the, the the quicker uh, the quicker that smoke comes out, the closer he is to death. And there's a reason we're fighting this optional. I want to make that very clear. Optional sub boss. This is the only sub boss that I've seen in any Mega Man that's optional. Okay. Come on, die already. And this would be why. Yeah, armor. Uh, basically, the damage I was taking from uh, from attacks is now being cut in half. This is the body armor, and this is actually the uh, the last piece of equipment that uh, that we can get. Um, all right, come on. Uh, this is the last piece of equipment that we can get. Um, uh, in, in the original run. Uh, everything else we have to uh, defeat a boss or, uh, or three in order to get it. Alright. Yeah, these things hit hard, but they're really slow. It, they should, uh, you should be able to take them out really easy. And then fill up your sub tank while you're at it. And you also know where they're coming along because, uh, their rocks are actually a different color, a, a different shade of green. It, it's basically almost as uh, as if it's a it's a cartoon on a movie. So uh, you'll you'll be able to tell uh, who they are. Now those birds are, are actually a way to help you fill up your sub tank because they will act uh, they will uh, uh, throw you worms to no end. Uh, not the order I wanted, but oh well. Uh, they will throw you worms to no end, um, giving you a uh, a greater chance to fill up your sub tank. And another extra life, which is always good. You can't have too many of those. And a riot armor. Now, this riot armor is actually relatively useful because um, because of a part coming up really this quicksand. This is actually part uh, part of the uh, uh, a part of the level that could actually really slow you down. Okay, which is where the riot armor comes uh, comes into great use. Now, from here. Here, here's something about uh, about this part that not a lot of people understand. You can actually let the right armor, uh, right armor sink. Go grab that life to help fill up your sub tank. How are we doing? Almost full. Okay. Get uh, get back in the right armor and jump out. And in fact, you can even ride this uh, uh, ride this right armor to the very end of the stage. Now you can't uh, you can't take him up against uh, uh, against Sting Chameleon. They're uh, there, there's actually only one boss uh, that I've ever found uh, you're able to uh, 
use a right armor against them. That's uh, Magma Dragoon and Mega Man X4. You actually have to leave the right armor here. Now, Stink Chameleon is, at, is weak against Boomerang Cutter. <coughs> and the whole strategy behind that is you actually don't want to jump against this guy. You do want to keep moving because he's just really quick, really agile. And uh, he, he, can, uh, uh, he can camouflage himself. Now, his script um, actually uh, uh, causes him to, every time he's hit with Boomerang Cutter, do that tongue attack. Which is actually what you want him to do. Okay, for the most part, uh, do that tongue attack. Now, the reason you don't want to jump is because if you jump, your boomerang is going to go down. And if that happens, uh, if that happens, um, you're not going to hit him unless he's on the ground. And boomerang cutter is the only attack that will get him off of his wall um, every time he's hit. Not even your X-Buster does that. Making this probably one of the, uh, maybe the uh, second easiest, uh, easiest boss in all of Mega Man, um, uh, only to Chill Penguin. I might actually uh, give him the nod over Boomer Kowanger. Sure, I had a few more troubles against uh, Sting Chameleon than Boomer Kowanger, but, you know, all you have to do is keep moving. You get Chameleon Sting. Now, this is actually a relatively useful attack. Um, later on, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get sort of powered up. However, its powered up version, ironically enough, is less useful than its not-so-powered up version. And now, we're going after Storm Eagle. Now, Storm Eagle, I got to tell you, his stage theme is the second best in all of Mega Man X. Maybe not uh, the entire Mega Man series, but Mega Man X. I'd actually have to give the nod to uh, to his uh, successor, Storm Owl from Mega Man X4. But this is a very good, uh, very good song. Okay, now I actually want to slide down here. Okay, you see that? You can stay here hitting it infinitely. It will not explode. We're, we're actually going to be coming back for that. So now we want to uh, ride this back up to where we were. Oh, good. Yeah, those things can end up killing you without having to damage you. Alright, kill that. And by the way, in case you're wondering um, why, why I'm not showing you uh, those pads, it's because they have those uh, fire things as well. Uh, th those uh, uh, gas tanks as well. So, really, it it's nothing too spectacular. Come on down. Now, this is probably the easiest sub-tank to, uh, to get to. Just break this wall. Climb up here. And this is probably the coolest effect in this game. If you beat that, the entire glass uh, glass casing uh, uh, goes bye-bye. And now we have our second sub-tank. And the way down, you kill that thing, climb onto its platform. Die, bitch. You know, I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to beat uh, uh, Storm Eagle or even get to him this episode. But if I can... Uh, if, if I can't, you know, we'll just go ahead and continue it next time. This is probably one of the slow, uh, s slowest moving parts in the game. Kind of funny thing as Storm Eagle stage is a fast moving stage. You have to keep moving or you die. And and actually, I, I went back on my uh, on my previous videos while uh, while publishing the last part. I realized that there are actually a couple of things I never went over when it comes to the boots. Okay, the first is an extended jump. If you slide and uh, quickly press uh, press the jump button while you're sliding, you're actually going to get a uh, a much longer jump. And if you're climbing on a wall and you hit uh, hit the uh, slide button and the jump button, you're going to jump farther. I've actually done that a couple of times. Once against uh, Chill Penguin and once against um uh what was it? The uh, Armored Armadillo. Now in here, I'm not going to go ahead and check it out quite yet because we can't get anything in there. Okay, let's see if we can get that. Uh, there we go. That's actually one of the uses for uh, for boom boomerang cutter, grabbing items that are otherwise impossible. And we're actually going to be using that ability after uh, after we beat all uh, all the uh, main bosses here. Okay, we want to climb up here. Yeah, I'm not gonna have time to uh, uh, to beat uh, Storm uh, Storm Eagle, so we're at least gonna have time to get to him. 
Now these platforms will jump, so you want to keep moving. And this, we're gonna be seeing this really soon. <clears throat> okay, I want you to notice something. We're going up. Okay, you don't have to be a rocket surgeon to see that we're going up. Look at the clouds. We are going up. On that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, before I really get into uh, fighting Storm uh, Storm uh, Storm Eagle, I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode. Next time, we fight and beat Storm Eagle. I will see you all on the other side. Hasta lasagna.